Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good day or night wherever you are in the world. As usual, comment below and let me know where you are from. I don't think I've ever really mentioned where I'm from except in like vlogs and stuff, but I am from Melbourne, Australia. So if you're from there too, you have to let me know because that would be really, really cool. Anyway, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my university backpack. It's just like a what's in my handbag video, but I definitely had to use a backpack for university because I had a lot of stuff to bring. Like seriously, I'm actually shaking from holding this. Oh. If you don't recognize the word university or uni, then I'm actually referring to the education that is after you finished high school. I know America calls it college and I think Europe does too, but I'm not 100% sure. So let me know what you guys call it from the country you're from because that will be really, really interesting. I'm also going to be sharing some organization tips along the way. Personally, I always have been quite organized, but the one thing I'm lacking is motivation. So I'm not really good at helping you with that part yet because I haven't even got it figured out myself. Anyway, now I'm going to move on and show you guys what is in my university backpack that is such a mouthful compared to what's in my handbag. This is the backpack that I bring to university. It's by the brand Patagonia and my dad got it online. So this is actually my dad's backpack. He bought it for when we go overseas. And the reason why I kind of sole slash borrowed his for university is because I used to use mine which was about this big and it just wasn't big enough. It's kind of better to have a huge bag when you don't need all the space than to have something that's really tight that you have to take everything out of because that's just not logical. The biggest thing that's in this backpack is obviously my laptop and it's a MacBook Pro and it's so dirty so let's just cover up all the dirt. <laughs> I don't know why it gets so gross. Is anyone else's like this? I feel like honestly everyone else's is so clean in uni and then there's just mine. I think it's because I always have mine in bed and Minson's always near it. I have to bring this every single day to take notes and because it has editing softwares I need on it. And usually I don't have a USB in here as I do have a hard drive with me, but I just use this with my boyfriend today. So organization tips in regard to if you have a laptop and if you plan on using it for university, remember to keep your files really, really organized. A lot of you would learn this throughout high school, but just for some reason, if no one's taught you this, then that is a really, really good tip. Usually I have a folder that is called university, then within that I'll have the trimester or semester that I'm up to and then inside of that I will make a folder for each of my classes and then inside of that I would dump the files. It really depends on how many files you have like obviously if you're working with video files you need to do a lot more organization. It's probably a good idea to inside each of those subjects separate it per exam and assignment. I don't personally do that but that would be a good thing to do. And also one more tip that I'm sure not many of us do, label your documents correctly. And also in regard to files, remember to back them up on your laptop. That is so important. So now moving on to the next bulky thing that I have to keep in this backpack. It is a plastic pocket folder. I personally keep the unit overviews for every single one of my subjects in here and important things like scripts and stuff. It's much better to put it in a plastic pocket compared to just shoving it in a notepad as I find they get all crinkled or you lose it and it's just a better idea. Plus this honestly is quite light. If you're interested where to get these, you can get these in a whole lot of different places. I'm pretty sure Kmart and Big W and places like that sell it, but I think this was from the Officeworks website. Now, moving on to another thing in my backpack. This is just a notepad from the shop Typo. It's just a standard one that has this little elastic thing to hold in all the pages, which is actually really useful. And inside it, I write notes from classes and then I also organize my week. Obviously, some people prefer to handwrite and others prefer to type. And for some reason, I'm in the middle. I like writing, but I know I can type a lot faster, so I tend to sort of switch back and forth. So the way that I found a balance that works for me is everything that I write down in here, I type up into a Word document just so I have a copy of it because I'm always worried I'm gonna lose my diary and I feel like everything else is backed up everywhere, but this obviously can't be. This isn't just for university, it's also my personal life and YouTube, so that's why it looks so confusing. So I thought I would explain to you guys now how exactly this works. So I've split the page in two and on this side I wrote want to do and this side I wrote need to do and need to do is basically everything that has a deadline or a punishment. So I put 
everything in here and I break it down bit by bit because I find that if I'm really, really vague for big assignments, like if I wrote directing assignment, I'm going to look at that and be like, I can't do that. That's huge. And I won't be able to tackle it. So instead, I broke it up bit by bit. So director's statement, script breakdown, casting brief, storyboards, blocking, floor plan. And I find that then I can actually do it bit by bit, which helps a lot. As I mentioned before, I'm not that motivated, but I have found this is something that does help me get more motivated, which is great. Then on the want to do side, it has YouTube related stuff. And then I also just put up little things that people have reminded me to do. And then everything else is actually just things I enjoy doing, but I forget to do. Like paint nails, read this book, listen to Hamish and Andy, watch New Girl. It also reminds me that if I'm focusing a little bit too much on this side, maybe I have a circuit break and should do something. Or if I'm only crossing off from this side, I really gotta get on and do the more important things. And down here is something I've only recently started doing and it's basically a plan for my YouTube videos, but it's just my Sunday upload. I used to write every single upload down, but I found it to be very pointless and a waste of time. So the next thing is this Frankie magazine. I tend to keep one or two magazines in my backpack for when I'm traveling to or from, as personally, I think it takes about an hour and 15 minutes each way to travel there, so I need to fill in that time. Sometimes I'm on my laptop and I'm editing YouTube videos or I'm doing a assignment, but if I haven't got anything urgent, I just want to relax. I used to have the book The Happiness Project in there, but I actually finished it, which I'm sure you guys would all be very proud of as it took me a long time. Now moving on to something that is very important to me organization-wise, and I feel like I would be a mess without it, and it is this 2016 diary from Kiki K. These are quite pricey and I can definitely admit that, but I find that I use it a huge amount, so it definitely is worth the money without a doubt. And even just visually, you can tell this is really good quality. You can get these in a huge amount of different sizes and stuff. My old one was A4 and this one is, I get really confused which way to go, A5. This one is a page to a day, which is just so much better for me. Now moving on to my organization tips in regard to diaries. My first tip is get one. I seriously suggest it so much. You don't need anything fancy like this. You can actually get them quite cheap. My second tip is, is that as soon as you get to university, write in the weeks because at my university, they never talk about dates at all. They're like, no, that's due week seven. And I have no idea when week seven is. And that has already helped me so, so much. Another tip of mine is to organize your week before your week begins. I begin uni on Wednesday and I have it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I do that over Monday and Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, so I'm actually going to be doing that. And I basically just block in all plans I know I have. So for example, last Wednesday, I had an acting workshop from 9 till 12. Then from about 12 till 2, I was having lunch with the YouTuber Brittany. I'm going to have a channel linked below. The channel's awesome. You have to subscribe for me. And then from 4 till 5, I have work. So I block all them in because they're commitments I've made that I'm going to follow through with. Now in this little note section down the bottom, I write exactly what I want to complete that day. It's always good to just choose particular things and then shove them on every day so that you know for sure you are definitely chipping away at them. I've gotten all of that bulky stuff out of the way. I can move on to some smaller things that I just think are really important to bring in your university backpack. One thing is definitely a drink bottle. I remember when I started uni, I actually bought a new water bottle every single day. And since then, I bought this huge drink bottle and it's been amazing. It's also perfect because usually at most unis they have like a little water filler up a thing or you can just go to the bathroom and fill it up which is just so awesome. I find that it also encourages me to have a lot more water which is obviously good. Now moving on to this little pencil case. It's by Kate Spade and the reason that I have a designer brand pencil case is because I got this when I traveled business class in Qantas and inside here I just have the most basic stuff honestly. I keep a couple of pens in there and then a highlighter of each color, but I don't really use them all. Now that I think about it, I used to color code stuff a lot, but I just find that now I end up using that as a distraction. So I try to avoid doing that. Another thing that I keep in my uni bag is my glasses and the case for them. I usually do wear it, but sometimes I just really don't feel like it. The next thing is this wallet purse thing, and this is from the shop Colette, and I got it for Christmas, which is really exciting. I just realized two of these things I got for Christmas, and they're pretty much the same color. 
and whoa, they're actually gold too. That is very weird. This wallet is so logical and I love it. You basically lift it up like this and then all of my cards are in here. And then at the back over here, this is where I put my coins and notes, which I have none of at the moment. Actually, I have a five cent coin. I am so rich. And I also have a tampon in here. And this is a Tom's organic one. I usually do put it in my bag, but I think I just put this in here when I wasn't using the bag. Kind of like at the bottom of my bag, there is this comb, which I don't know where we got it from. And this, I don't actually have the rest of the cord for. It's just an iPhone cord. I always remember this so that I can charge my phone. I do have something in here. I don't know why I put it in this pocket but I just did and it is a The Body Shop Body Butter in Coconut. I have a huge amount in this little pocket up here. This first thing is the keys to my house which are important and it has a little froggy thing in here which I got from a friend in Germany which is really really cute. I got that so many years ago. The next thing is the pass which I need to get into my uni. Well they tell you that anyway but I've never had anyone check me but I keep this just in case. The next thing are my sunglasses and I hate now that they will loosen this bag because I really want them to be protected. The next thing is this little compact and it's by CoverGirl and it's their CoverGirl Ole pressed powder in fair and light. And you basically open it up and there's one of those little like, what do you even call them? Little puffer things, which I actually do use quite a lot, even though I'm sure no one does, but on the go that's perfect. I keep this in here mainly for the mirror, but sometimes having a bit of powder on the go, like right now for example, will help me look a little bit nicer, which is nice because after long days at uni, sometimes your stuff comes off your face. Your stuff, that sounds so weird. This next thing is a lipstick. I always keep the lipstick that I'm using that day in my handbag so I can reapply. And I don't think I do any more, but I used to keep a nude lipstick in there just in case my other lipstick came off and I just wanted something on that would make my lips look nice but didn't require too much effort. So this is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the shade Shameless. This next thing is a little sticky note with the password to my uni email on it. This next thing is a prescription ointment for my eczema which by the way has gotten so much better. This next thing is one of those portable little iPhone chargers. I don't think I've charged this in forever though as I usually have my cord so I can charge it at uni which is fine but it's good to have one of these. This next thing I have a feeling I'm going to find a lot of considering this one is loose by itself but it's just a tablet and it is a naprogesic which is used for period pain. Annoyingly my period pain is becoming too severe so this isn't really working anymore but it's really good to bring things like that even if you don't think you need it because some days you might just forget to pack it on a day you really need it and if you already have it in there then you're prepared. This next one is a little snack and it's a little mini shapes packet in the flavour pizza. The next thing is this little loose snap reducing which I'm going to throw away now because this must have so many germs on it. Ew. Usually this isn't in my uni bag. I think it's because I forgot to apply an eyebrow product that morning so I just grabbed this before I left. This is the Model Co More Brows in the shade Medium Dark. This next thing is another tampon. See, I told you there'll be another tampon and it's just by the brand Cottons. Is that the brand? I don't know, it says Cottons on it though. First thing is a coin and it's not even Australian. It is a Pesos. Is that how you pronounce it? And it is 10 pesos and it's from 2011. I did go to South America recently, but I didn't take out any money myself. Oh, this is my dad's bag while we were there. Never mind, problem solved. It's another naprogesic. Oh, and it's the one that's missing. Problem solved again. I feel like most girls already have this in their handbag or backpack, and it is a Lucas Pore Point. Oh, uh, ha, 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 I can't speak. Lucas Pore Pore Ointment. This next thing is a nude lip liner, and it's the Rimmel Lasting Finish 1000 Kisses Lip Liner in the shade Natural. And this is perfect as I can just apply it if I'm only going to be wearing a lip gloss that day and it makes my lips look nicer. And it's perfect for if I'm wearing a bright color because then I can already see my lips. And the last thing wasn't actually in there but it always is in there and it is my iPhone. I have an iPhone 5. I just unlocked it with my finger without realizing I was kind of looking at it like what? I keep my train, tram, public transport pass 
in the back of my iPhone case and same with my ID. And it's perfect because it means that I never have to take out my wallet or anything, which is always risky for me as I feel like I lose things really, really easily. And I'm usually holding my phone if I'm listening to music. Usually there's headphones in there too. That's another thing that's usually in there. Need to remember them. But anyway, that's everything I usually pack in my university backpack. And also if I'm wearing a jacket or something, sometimes there's stuff that's in there too. Having extra space is seriously a huge tip for me as I didn't realize how much better it would be to have that. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful in any way, remember to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments any organization tips you have or some essentials you keep in your backpack. Let me know in the comments any future videos you would like to see that are related to university and organization as I'd love to include more of them on my channel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!